Okay, uh, freaking got home from work today, had a shitty day, freaking tired and burned out and stuff. So I come home and, you know, do the usual, go get a Hortons and, you know, they, they're not waiting on me and they're friggin', uh, you know, the lady just goes into the back and she's gone for like five minutes. I'm standing there waiting. And then they come out and they get my order and stuff and then they say, oh, they're gonna have to wait for the steep tea. So I'm tired and burned out. Normally I just stand at the thing, but I go and I sit down at the table and and I'm sitting there and sitting there and I'm thinking, man, this is taking forever. It's like three minutes for a freaking pot of steep tea, right? So a buddy comes over and he's talking to me about my YouTube videos and stuff and this and that. And so I'm like, yeah, right on, you know what I mean, blah, blah, blah. He says he was checking them out. He thought they were cool. I was like, cool, man, right on. And then, uh, so, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, tea's ready, okay, gives me the tea. I leave and just, you know, just as they're handing me my tea, this cop walks in the door. You know, I mean, it's just, you know, a guy, a cop going to Hortons. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary there. So, I'm not, you know what I mean? I just sort of, I heard somebody coming in. And, you know what I mean? As I was turning around to see him as a cop, I walked right by him. I heard somebody say something. So, I turned around and he's like talking to me or whatever. So, I go back in and he's all like, uh, he's all, uh, I need to talk to you for a minute or something. And I'm like, oh yeah, about what? And he's like, oh, we got a uh, complaint of you taking pictures in here and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, and I'm like, when was this? He's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know any of the details. He says, we just got a complaint, and so I'm here with the complaint or whatever. Okay, whatever. He's like, so just have a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. Goes into the back room with two of the Hortons brides. Like, you know, 15 seconds later, comes back out. Got some pieces of paper and a Hortons broad with them. They're all signing papers and stuff. And and uh, so th this is what he gave me. This is how thorough they are about this. Uh, two, uh, no one, uh, address nowhere, city nowhere, postal code nowhere. Uh, of course the Hortons, uh, that's the Hortons right there, uh, regarding a trespass notice. And then I'll let you read that nonsense because it's all just bullshit. And, and, then, uh, and then we got the signature there. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So I ain't going to be going over there anymore because, uh, you know, no friggin' cup of Hortons is worth, uh, worth, uh, talking to the fuzz for. So, uh, yeah, basically, you know what, Hortons, you can frig right off. I don't, I don't, I don't want anything to friggin' do with Hortons anymore. You can friggin' bite me. And you know what? If, uh, if you all burst into flames and friggin', uh, spontaneously combusted right now, wouldn't even give a shit. Apologize, goof. I'll show you the uh, the pictures that they're. Uh, um, I guess they well they know that I took them because that's the whole. I mean that's um, like we go to Hortons and we get our Hortons unstirred for a reason. And it's because these people they don't have any understanding of the things that they make there go into somebody's mouth. You know what I mean? Uh, so. You know, I mean, everything's dirty, nothing's wiped down, the friggin', the, the, the cup with the spoons in it has got like that much dirty water in it, and, you know, when they fill it and it's new, it's like, you know, full right to the top. And then like eight hours later, because they never changed the dirty spoon water, and it's like, you know, and then what, 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 what tipped me over the edge to just like, you know, I can't, you know, I'd see it and they'd stir it and I'd just, oh man, that's disgusting, and I'd drink it anyway, but then what set me over the edge? But he's, you know, this is months and months and months ago, he friggin' takes a spoonful of the dirty, dirty cup water and stirs, like, you know, scoops it out, you know, doesn't just pull it straight out and straight in and then back in. He friggin' scoops it out, pours it in my, my tea, and I'm like, whoa, dude, what the hell? And he's like, oh, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Are, are you high? Are you hanging out with the Jasmine bros? You know what I mean? Sheesh. So... So I'll show you the pictures that I took, and, and I took them right in front of the lady, showed her the pictures, you know, we had a good laugh or whatever, I mean, it was, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, you know, I, I mean, like, that's like sort of a thing that we've been having for months and months and months over there, make sure they're not stirred, you know, this Hortons knows the whole situation, but, you know, when we go to other Hortons, we gotta, you know, they think we're saying well stirred, and it's like, no, 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 man, don't put that dirty spoon in my drink, bud, you know what I mean? So this is my last Hortons from, from across the road, unless Antler Mike goes or maybe my old lady will go for me or else I'm going to prison.
So anyways, I'll uh, finish the video up with a couple nice photos that I took from Horton's Air. Uh, um, yeah, and then you can see exactly why I don't get my Horton stirred. It's pretty friggin' disgusting. Like, absolutely rude. Like, an open cup, so like, you know, and they're reaching over it, and, you know, you got armpit hair falling out of their shirt, and you know what I mean? And then that's the other thing, too. When they're making your drinks and stuff, they friggin', you know, they'll make your thing, and oh, the steep tea will be three minutes, so they set your tea with the cream and sugar, in, or your cup with the cream and sugar in it on the counter, and then there's people working all over it and grabbing things and changing antler things with the stuff in it and putting it, you know what I mean? And you're just like, stuff dropping in my open friggin' cup for three minutes before you pour my tea in it and give it to me? Like, like correct me if I'm wrong. And, you know, I, I am like a bit of a germaphobe. I mean, grease and stuff from a car and this and that. That's one thing. Like, all friggin', you know, I, I don't even wash my hands all well and take parts out of a car and then eat a sandwich with my bare hands and not even friggin' wash them. I don't give a shit. But, like you know, dirty, scummy, sink, freaking drinks and food and stuff like that. I can't. I can't. Mold on the cutting board. Oh, yeah, and the cutting board where they're making your sandwiches and stuff, it's freaking black. Like, all the cuts and stuff is filled with black stuff. And, and like, they're supposed to take, like, a piece of paper, put it on the cutting board, make Buddy's sandwich on that. And then last night when I was there, I was, you know, waiting for my steep tea as usual, and I'm watching this broad make somebody's sandwich, and I just, I just, I, just, I can't even friggin' believe it. Like, they're so not making the sandwich for themselves that they just don't give a shit. They just, they just, it's like, it's like they're not making a sandwich, they're just like, you know doing the an order of something you know we grab this dirty ass shit out of here and we grab that nasty stuff out of there and we just pile it up in such an order and we cut it in half and we wrap it up and we put it in a bag and buddy takes it off and i don't know what he does with it you know what i mean if he puts it in his mouth that's up to him you know what i mean but like in reality it's like dude you know what i mean like would you eat that are you gonna make yourself a sandwich on that dirty ass cutting board that you that you know you, you wipe off once in a while but like it's not clean every one of those cuts has mold in it like in bacteria you know what i mean like i guarantee that the, the toilet seat in tim hortons is cleaner than the friggin counter that they make the food on I swear on my antler you know what i mean so uh yeah friggin all the hortons car well i mean they're friggin gone already because we just drilled so many hortons into us i'll show you the uh the stack of hortons and each one of those represents at least three dollars and five cents spent across the road you know what I mean? Two large double doubles, three dollars five cents, right? So, I guarantee, like we friggin' pay one of these guys friggin' uh, wage over there anyway. So, you know, like they're gonna have to lay one guy off now that we're not going there, those sons of bitches. But, uh, anyways, yeah, that, that's my uh, babbling bullshit with Pug, I guess, eh? Oh, <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch, eh? I got a problem anyway, like, I mean, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't be spending, you know, more money than you're making at friggin' Hortons. That's, that's like, that's no different than being an alcoholic, you know what I mean? I'm a Hortons-aholic and I need to go to HA, which is Hortons Anonymous, clearly. But anyways, Tim Hortons is goofs. Friggin' Frig Tim Hortons, they're goofs. I mean, it's a friggin', it's a Hortons. Why the hell do I, I start, you know, oh, I need a Hortons and I'm freaking out. Like, what's up with that, man? What's in that shit? You know what I mean? Like, you know what's in that shit? Not us anymore. Yeah, That's not sure. us. That's bullshit. But anyways, friggin', uh, yeah, like, I mean, I, I'll have c coffee and stuff at the shop, and we're even drinking it out of Horton's Cops, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not Horton's. You know what I mean? It's like friggin' Horton's Coffee, sugar packets from Horton's, friggin' Horton's Cops, and friggin', it's not, it's dinked. So... You know, I guess uh, that's it. We're getting a coffee maker. Screw Hortons, eh? Right on. Because that's, uh, that's going to save me large. You know what I mean? That is going to freaking save me large. Plus, they're going to have to fire a guy. So, okay. You don't have to put up with our shenanigans anymore, but it really is it really that bad? You know what I mean? Like, you know, y y y y is it really that bad that you we don't want you to stir our drinks? They just can't grasp the concept of cross-contamination. You know what I mean? Like, if you scratch your bum hole and then you make somebody a sandwich, you might want to wash your hands between that. You know what I mean? Or else, Buddy's going to have scratch your bum hole sandwich. You, you know what I mean? Like, that's sort of how that works. So if you make Buddy's sandwich on a dirty cutting board and you're leaving Buddy's 
cup sitting on the counter for three minutes while you're waiting for your stuff and you're letting your armpit hair and all kinds of stuff from the dripping things. You got people everywhere wandering all over. Friggin', you know, dropping, you know, sam making a sandwich and, a, you know, and, and just like, you know, flopping some lettuce on and lettuces and then, and then just tossing it back in and then, and then friggin', you know, grab some of this stuff and then like an ice cream scoop of friggin', you know, friggin', uh, salad, whatever the hell that was, egg salad or something, you know what I mean? And, and just, you know, like, just like doing the operations, That's, you know, doesn't give a shit if, if, you know, she just wiped her ass and, and, and blew her nose and freaking coughed all over the place, doesn't care, you know, and all this stuff is just sitting out in the open too, all these donuts and stuff, there's no back on the shelf, it's just wire thing in, the, in like a window thing, so like by the time you get, like I've ordered cookies or a bagel or something or a muffin or a donut, anything, and like they're stale or as shit, you know what I mean, and, that, and the big sign, always fresh, ain't always fresh, what the hell are you talking about always fresh, always staler as fuck, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bang this video out and, you know, maybe we'll get, uh, get, uh, you know, big, big prize out to, uh, well, it's not going to be nothing big, big, maybe a uh, Pug One sticker or something. I don't know. We'll have to uh, get something made up or, or make something. Who knows? Maybe I'll find something or something awesome. I don't know. I'll find something. you got to guess how many Horton Straits there is and I'll, and I'll send you something in the mail, you son of a bitch. Okay. So remember. Frig Horton. Hortons can go GFYM. They suck. They're goofs. And, and they're all no minds, right? You go to any other Hortons and you tell them, oh, I want two, a large double double and a large steep tea on double double, double cup, unstirred, in a tray. And you just sit there and watch them and they do exactly what you said and they say at 305, thank you, I'll come again. And then you leave. But here, Every day, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day, we go over there, and and they just can't grasp it. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, and then they get all pissed off about it. It's like, dude, help me out. Maybe I am a goof. Am I a goof? If I'm a goof, Mike's a goof too, because he's thinking the same damn thing, by the same damn thing. So you know what? Whatever. I'll show you the pictures. Tell me what you think. Friggin' uh, guess how many sons of bitches there are. We'll send you something awesome. And other than that. GFYM Hortons, you sons of bitches. Okay, so Mike's gonna go stand beside this son of a bitch. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a clear shot of them because you're gonna it's an HD 720 element OP, so you guys will just count the sons of bitches. So you know frig right off, but uh, basically you can see we're right at the floor and uh, right up there. So if you can guess how many friggin' Hortons trees, you know, and you know, and you know, I guess you're gonna have to guess how tall Mike is too, and then do a measurement, and uh, like that's that's a serious stack of Horton Street. Each one of those represents at least three dollars and five cents, and sometimes you know, you know, Logie comes over and he gets one, and I get one for the old lady, and this and that. Sometimes they're, they're full, four, five, six friggin' coffees at a time. Sometimes, you know what I mean? So, anyways. And uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, regular, uh, you know, standard practice to uh, give away free things at Hortons like cookies and donuts and coffees and teas and stuff like that. Oh, and pens and the refills for the pens. But um, I'm not sure if uh, the owners of Tim Hortons would appreciate their employees, uh, you know, basically stealing from from them and giving it to the, to just uh, you know any random customer that happens to walk in. So yeah, there there's another uh, thing we might need to bring up here uh, if, the, if 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 you know if we're going to start bringing stuff up, we might as well bring stuff up, right? Apologize.